This is Taylor series example three. Uh, in, exam in Taylor series example two, we saw that uh, we found that this Taylor series had this sigma, uh, this sigma notation. All right, let me show you another way to go about finding this. All right. So e to the x uh, from the back of the Taylor series notes and learning goals has this expansion. All right, so thinking, thinking of x as, as a placeholder, we can put whatever we want in there. Uh, this is because the interval of convergence for e to the x is negative infinity to infinity, so anything, any real, you can put any real number in there, and that will work. This will actually, you, put, you put any real number in there, and this will converge to an actual number. So, um, all right, so let me rewrite the x's here. with a little, with parentheses, meaning that I can put whatever I want in there. Okay, so now the thing to notice here is that uh, x to the 2n, you can write this as x squared to the n. So that's my tip off that I want to put in x squared here. So let me write this better here. We've got x squared squared here, x squared cubed here, x squared to the fourth. You can see that by manipulating e to the x, by putting an x squared in for x, e to the x squared has this expansion. This is the way we write it using sigma notation. That's exactly what we found here. 